This is Jessica Williamson and you're watching Zaproot. Coal. We humans love this stuff. The US consumes about 20 billion pounds of it per year, or 20 pounds per person per day. It's the leading source of global warming pollution, the number one source for man-made mercury pollution. We've resorted to mountaintop removal to get it, and we get fun little bonuses like this 300 million gallon toxic fly ash sale that happened over Christmas in Tennessee. Oh, but wait, the age of clean coal is here. Really? Yeah, we didn't know either. So we called up Kevin Grandia, the editor of Desmog blog, and energy consultant Tom Price, and the whole thing shakes out like this. There are two major types of clean coal technologies. First, there's gasification, and the process looks like this. Basically, it turns coal into gas vapor and removes impurities. There are successful gasification plants in the US, Europe, and Japan that do turn a profit. But surprise, it's more expensive. About 20% more expensive, which is why the utility companies don't want to make them. And speaking of expensive, there's a second clean coal technology, carbon capture and sequestration. This process of taking the CO2 that results from burning coal, compressing it, and injecting it deep into the porous rock of the earth. There are a couple of pilot programs in Europe and Japan, but none in the US. So, what's the problem? Well, when you pump CO2 into rock, it displaces the water that's already there. It's got to move somewhere, so you get unpredictable gas seepage. Kind of like your Uncle Jerry after Taco Bell. CO2 is also buoyant when it's pumped into the earth, so you can count on it spreading about 15 miles around the injection point. When CO2 comes into contact with some types of water, it can create carbonic acid that eats away at the surrounding rock. Even if that doesn't happen, there are serious groundwater contamination issues that need to be considered. And the amount of CO2 that we're talking about is billions of tons. In essence, this is a big experiment. So cross your fingers, folks. It's like a landfill inside the earth. The UCS says clean coal presents significant environmental risks. The GAO says it will never fly without huge subsidies. And the DOE pulled its money out of the only government-backed clean coal pilot program in the United States in 2008 because costs were too high. So why do we keep hearing about this crap? Because the American Coalition for Clean Coal Electricity is running a $35 million PR campaign to sequester space inside your brain. The whole thing seems like vaporware. So, with all of this in mind, the geniuses here at Zaproot Industries have developed an affordable and revolutionary clean coal converter right here in the palm of my hand. We're going to make a fortune selling this on eBay. It's good for Slurpees, good for polar bears, and making cars do this. But this guy is taking ice to a whole new level. He has put together an ice orchestra complete with harps, drums, xylophones, trumpets and bells, all made out of ice. The orchestra plays venues all over the world and you can check the dates on their website. But get moving because all the ice comes from Norwegian glaciers. But with global warming, you better see it now before it becomes a water orchestra. Thank you, I'll be here all night. Want some free stuff? Well, buygreen.com is looking to give it to you. Sign up on our community site, add a blog entry. You can use pics and videos, and the best blog entry this week will receive this. Sponsored by buygreen.com. And don't forget, there's a link in our show notes. And now for some green gadgets. We know you like to keep it cold. This solar powered air conditioner runs off solar, wall plug or batteries for 12 hours, uses half the watts of a regular AC and leaves you scratching your head wondering why somebody hasn't thought about this before. And if it's been a cold winter, keep your heating bills down and make your conventional dryer a little less wasteful. The heat keeper vent helps you route that hot air from the dryer back into your house for heating. Your panties in a bunch? At the very least, you can give them a good spin with the Spinex spin dryer. It dries your clothes by spinning them super fast. It's like a salad spinner for your Days. Don't want your thumb drive to exist forever? Try Earth Drive. It's made from bioplastic. Flip swap. We love the new Amazon gift certificates for recycling your phone. It's super easy. The solar scale weighs in grams. I'm not really sure what somebody would want to weigh in grams. I mean, what do you buy in grams? Check this out. Some say it's a $200 computer, but that's a little misleading. What the end computer does do is let up to 30 different people use one computer as their master CPU. The client just uses 4 watts of power and acts like a full PC. And check out this umbrella made of recycled soda bottles and bamboo. Or this one which is the first 100% biodegradable umbrella. It's just 28 bucks. The feeling like you really need a strawberry daiquiri all the time comes for free. You can find most of these gadgets at our new Zaproot store. There's a link in our show notes. Thanks for watching, and remember, we don't sequester gas at zaproot.com. So much of the process of blogging is taking pre-existing pieces of media, like linking to something and then adding your idea on top of it. So I think a lot of stuff that happens in new media sort of comes out of that hip-hop creative process. WPC TV is brought to you by ASUS and Intel. You dream it, ASUS builds it, Intel inside. Hey YouTube user, you should subscribe. The button is right over here. Seriously, this button's all over the place.